How's she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grandpa's Workshop. We're going to build railings for our deck. So I have a deck, I have some set of stairs, I want to have a railing around my deck and down the stairs. So let's go check out how I do that out here in the middle of the woods. Okay, we're going to start off here. Uh, this is the deck I have, I guess, on the front of the camp because we call the front the side that faces the lake. So I want to make my railings on the new deck to match this. So. First of all, I have to find out how high my posts are. So I have some caps on the posts. So I'll just measure this post. That's 42 inches off the deck to the top of the post. The height then to the top of the railing is 39 inches. And then uh, this is the thing you have to watch out for when you're building railings. Uh, because of the height of the deck off the grade, the height of the railing, uh, may change, depend on your area. So check your local building codes to see about building railings. Now these railings are not the building code, but here where I am in the middle of the woods, uh, they're not too too stringent on enforcing the building code rules. And Nanny and I don't like to climb very much anymore, so having horizontal members in your railing to make it easy to climb is not a big issue for us. But if we had small children around, of course the children could climb over that, no problem whatsoever. And when the grandkids are here, we watch them, tell them not to climb the railing. But really, horizontal members like this, that's a big eh, eh, no no for uh, railings. And then the way I make these, I just have a 2x4 at the top, 2x4 at the bottom, and then uh, some 1x4 to frame it. And I put three pieces of uh, decking for the railings. Put one right at the top to maintain the uh, flatness of the 2x4 at the top because that gives it a little bit of support up there. And then these two just to fill in the blanks. And then a piece of two before at the bottom, because we often, when you stand there, it's like a bar rail, right? You put your foot on it. And then to keep that from sagging, I put a little hunk of two by four in the middle just to give it a little bit of support. What I'm struggling with right now is, originally, what my plan was, I was just gonna put a piece of two by four right against the building. So it would be like half of a four by four post. Uh, but I'm thinking, I might not like that. I'd have to cut the bat away and things like that. Uh, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do now is change my plan for a little bit. I'm going to remove these two boards. And I have a piece of 4x4, four 8-foot four, long, extra. So I'm going to remove these two boards. I'm going to put a 4x4 four four post here and one over on the other corner. So I think that's what I'm going to start out doing. Unfortunately, I mean, removing these two boards and I have to cut spot in here for the post to sit. But we can do that. So we're going to start remove these two boards. So here's my post, I've got the end coat on it, and you'll see here where I cut away, uh, just notched, nibbled away a little bit on each side to go around that joist hanger. So I'm hoping it's going to be alright, we're going to try it here. So I'm glad to see it's a tight fit, just to check that. That's pretty darn close right there. Okay, so now I've got some uh, three and a half inch nails. I'm going to drive a couple nails in there to hold it. It's tight against the ledger board. That's good. Yeah, everything looks great. Now I'm 
going to go under and pop a couple of nails through from the other side too. So I'll be right back. Beauty, eh? So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Plum. Plum. Now it's a juicy plum. That's nice. Okay. Put some more nails in that. Uh, I don't know whether you guys have been noticing my level. First of all, this vial is smashed. A lot of hardships this level has been through. But you know what? I bought this level, 24 inch level. It's just a, a rough carpenter's level, basically, is what it is, 24 inch. If you're going to do any serious kind of like door setting like I did here, you should have a 48 inch level. Anyway, if I had a 48 inch level, maybe my door would have fit a little bit better than it does. But I went looking for 48 inch levels and they're just too darn expensive to be honest with you. But anyway, but I bought this level a long time ago. And you might laugh at this level, and I do too when I, when I use it because it's beat up pretty good. But it's not bent or twisted, so it's still not bad. And uh, let me see, I built uh, a split level house with this level. I built this camp. I put the addition on this level. I built the barn. I built the boathouse. I built the two sheds on the barn. I built the yard shed here. And I built the playground. All with this level. So, like, if it's not working, everything is exactly the same off level because I use this level for everything. And yeah, I don't recommend you do that. Get yourself a good level, folks. Good levels are worth it. But as you saw, I, I bounce that guy around a lot. So I have to mark, like I did with these ones, mark the cutout, go around the post. Now I'm ready to, uh, I think, measure these posts and cut them off. Then I can start laying out to put my uh, rail sections in. had an awful thought that maybe this isn't 42 inches. Because <laughs> I've been talking 40 and 42 different times. I just hope I measured this 42. I did. And 42 inches. That looks like a pretty nice piece of 4x4, doesn't it? Nice straight grain, a little bit of sap come out of it there. But when I cut it open, look at it in the heartwood. Right, that's rot. That's rot. So I don't know how long this post will last, but it should outlast me. So we're going to continue right along. Since it's going so good. 42 inches. The last one is always the one that you mess up, right? So I'm going to take a little bit of extra time on this guy to make sure I get it right. Now we can measure and start making rail sections. So we're going to start uh, and build a rail section to put in here. So a couple things you need to know is, well, definitely how wide it is. So 
So what we're going to do is make a sketch of what our uh, rail is going to look like. So it's going to come down here. Just like that. We, we're nowhere to spare that in mind. So this is going to be 53 inches. Uh, minus. 53 minus. So we make it a little less than 53. No one's going to growl at us. All right, we already know how high it is because we measured that on the front rails and the front rails were 35 and a half high. And uh, if you remember from the front rails, we want the top railing and the bottom foot rail to go the full length of the opening. So that means we're going to need two pieces of 2 by 4 53 inches long. All right, that'll be top and bottom. Then we need a piece of 1 by 4 to go here and a 1 by 4 to go down here. And that's going to be, if that's 35 and a half from top to bottom, so that'd be 34, uh, 33 and a half, 32 and a half. Those pieces here are going to be 32 and a half, right? 32 and a half, and they need two of those. So I need two 1 by 4, 32 and a half. Is that right? 32 and a half and 3 is 33 and a half. That's right. Okay, and then I had a piece of 1 by 4 go right across underneath that top rail, and then a piece here, and a piece here. So there's one, two, three pieces of 1 by 4 by, and that's going to be 53 inches less the inch on either side for this uh, uh, vertical part here. So that's 53 less 2 is 51 inches long. So I'm going to go get some stock. And I'm going to cut this up, then we're going to take it in the shop and fab it up. So we're going to start some assembly. So we put the uh, snarly looking uh, stud down at the bottom, but we put the best side of that one up, because that's the part we're going to see. And the same thing with the top rail, although the top rail should be better overall anyways, but we put the prettiest looking side up. Okay. Uh, however, before we do anything, don't forget we made some cuts. So we're going to have to put some uh, end coat on them. Okay, so we, we've got our uh, ends coated. This is our bottom rail, ugly side down. Top rail, pretty side up. Okay. To start the assembly, we're going to take the two vertical side pieces. There you go, they go between the two A4s. So we'll drill holes down through here to secure them. So I want to drill a pilot hole first. Then I'm going to set these in here and uh, put some screws in them. Okay, so I want this flush on the end. Something like that. I'll do the same on this end. Four tries for a three inch screw. One, two, three. You can try the glasses, maybe that'll help. <laughs> I hear he is laughing. <laughs> I know it's funny, I'm laughing too. <laughs> thing on this side then. Flush and flush. Now uh, I need to put one of those uh, horizontal pieces right across the, the top here, right? To uh, right underneath the top rail. So this is the top rail, we confirm that. 
Okay, so what I want to do then is put these these horizontal members, cross members in here. I want to set them in the middle, the center of the 2x4 and the 1x4 here. So what I have is I made up a couple of spacers. Look at that. It's an inch and a quarter. Okay, so we put our spacers in here. Making sure that this 2x4 is flat on the uh, on the table saw, and then we set that in there, and we know now that that's centered. So I'm just going to put a couple of screws in the ends. May as well put one there too, since I have the drill. Okay, that's tight to the top. Look at that. Read in. Now do the same to the other end. All right, so we're going to put our center uh, rails in now. Uh, same same uh, technique as up here, except we have to center them or space them equally in this opening here. Now I did a lot of calculating, and uh, every time I calculated, I come up with something different. So I ended up just fussing with them, and I ended up it's about seven and three eighths of an inch between them. So I made a space for seven and three eighths. So that's going to go right like that. And before I get too crazy, I need my other spacers. I'm not forget to put these in. Put them right there and there. Okay. And then my spacer goes here. All right, here we go. We've got our inch and a quarter spacer and our seven and three eight spacer. Same thing here. Then we just spin this around to the other side. And after a lot of aggravation, we have ourselves a railing. So now I'm going to go out and hopefully this is going to fit. <laughs> There's always that aspect of it too, eh? Here we go, here's our railing. I got a couple of pieces of uh, one by three, and I'm just gonna put those in the corner for spacers, because I want it that high off the deck. I'm gonna lift this in place, see what happens. Man, you'd think that was made for there, would you? Make sure these sides are flush. I like that. So, five sections of railing, built and installed, I even put post caps on and make it look nice. Now the only thing I have left to do here is I'm going to have to figure out a way to go from that post up there, right there, on an angle, down to a post I'm going to set. That's why I left those spaces there in the treads, because I'm going to put a 4x4 four four post right there. So. Next up on the agenda, lay out the railings. Since I have a piece of 4x4 that's 8 feet long, 
I'm just going to get it cut in half, set it in here, because that's about 7 inches there. So if I set that rate on grade, 7 inches till it gets level with the stair tread, 42 inches, that's 49 inches. It'll, the pieces I have are, will be 48 when I cut them in half, so I guess my post is going to have to be 4 feet tall. So here's my post, 48 inches tall. It'll be almost that high. What do you think, Nanny? Check this out. What would be like here? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nanny approved. Nanny approved. Yeah, that's the that's the standard we work by here. <laughs> and that's a good standard to go by, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to attach those four by fours here. So I'm going to take that uh, middle stair tread out so I can get at it with my drill gun. Alright, check for plumb. I'm going to get one of these 2x4s here as a railing, right? And I think the railing should run parallel with the slope of the stairs. So what I'm going to do is mark that right there. And down here, if I can get it before it moves. Alright, I think that's going to be the angle right there. How far down from the top should I be? Four inches. I'm just picking a number at random here. Right there. So that makes the top of this rail flush with the bottom of that rail. If that means anything. I don't think it does. But that's just a quinky dink. Just walk up that nanny carefully and see. So I think that'll be good, eh? All right. So what I've done is I've established my angle. I'm only going to put one railing in here, and there's going to be no two by four along the bottom because it just gets too junky. So I'm going to put a piece of one by four right underneath this two by four, and another piece in the field here, and I'm going to have some one inch sides come down it. So. I cut all my pieces. Okay, so this piece is going to go up here. Something like that there. And then this piece is going to go in here. Somewhere in the middle. to take this piece, this piece, and this piece, and this piece back into the shop and try to assemble that. 
bring it up and set it in and see what happens. So there's the piece I put together. Kind of looks like a railing. And it's close enough that it'll fit. So there is one railing done, and we only have one more to go. I think we're finished. So if you're planning on building a deck, I guess when you're all done, it could look something like this. Not guaranteeing though. So, we started out here with a camp with a window in it. We took the window out, put a door in, redid the inside trim, redid some uh, board and batten here on the outside, especially the bats, put a couple of lights in. Then after that was over, well we needed to step because we couldn't access the door, it was four feet off grade, and we built a deck. Now that the deck is built, well, we're thinking it would be really nice <laughs> to have a path come out here to the landing. <laughs> you know how one job rolls into another job, which 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 rolls into another job. <laughs> but anyways, it's the camp after all, and I never ever plan on finishing it. So, uh, we put a railing, finally put a railing on our deck. Quite involved putting the railing on. The, uh, the horizontal sections, they're pretty straightforward. You just measure between the posts, you know your height, cut them up. Well, I made a few mistakes cutting the length, but you know, that, that happens to the best of us. But those were pretty simple. But then the angled parts going down the stairway, well, you have to pay a little bit more attention there. Uh, I kind of custom made those because it's hard to get, the, for me anyways, it was hard to get the posts perfectly plumb. And uh, so, you know, you just take your time, put them on, mark them. Maybe make a couple of cuts, waste a little bit of wood. It's the way she goes. But anyway, I got a railing on it. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you taking the time. I really enjoy your comments. I read every one of them. So uh, if you get a chance, please click like on my video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'm looking forward to seeing you the next time. Talk to you.